Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to review the controls for your 642E centrifuge. Controls Overview 642E Your 642E is designed to run one cycle, 10 minutes at 3,380 RPM, which is 1,600 XG. The simple controls for that cycle are right here on the front panel. Your 642E has three indicator lights that show its status. The left-hand LED illuminates whenever the centrifuge is running. The center LED illuminates whenever the lid is latched. The right LED illuminates whenever the centrifuge is unlocked. The left running and center latched LEDs are commonly illuminated at the same time. This is because any time that the centrifuge is running, the lid must be latched. The center latched and right unlocked LEDs may also be illuminated at the same time. This is because the lid can be latched even while the centrifuge is unlocked. If that unlocked LED is illuminated, with the latched LED illuminated, that means that you can turn that lid latch a quarter turn counterclockwise to unlatch it and open the lid. If that unlocked LED is not illuminated, that means that you will have to first hit the stop unlock button to unlock the centrifuge before you can open the latch and open the lid. There are two buttons that control your 642E. The left button is the start button. This starts your centrifuge running for its pre-programmed speed and time. The right hand button is stop unlock. This button will stop any currently spinning cycle. If the centrifuge is not in motion, it will cause the centrifuge to become unlocked meaning that you can open that latch and access your samples. And those are the controls for your 642E. If you have any questions, you can contact Drucker Customer Service. If you'd like to learn more about how to operate your 642E, some helpful video links are popping up on screen for you right now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.